reel it in. I got the bag. Tell a friend. She got some ass. Bring it in. Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Perks, back in here with another GTA 5 online video And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this white Juggles modded outfit here on the screen Using the transfer glitch after the latest patch 1.51 So I hope you guys do go on to enjoy this video And if you do, please make sure to and a like And also comment down below if you want to see more outfits like this with these white Juggles And also subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy my content So anyways, with this glitch, this will delete all of your outfits that you have So make sure you have the outfit on that you don't want to lose And yeah, anyways, let's get straight into it so as you guys can see here, I have my outfit on that I don't want to lose. So now once you have it on, you want to break the pause menu, go over the online, and then go down to swap character. Now just go ahead and wait for the swap character to load. So then when you should load in, you should see that um, you have two characters there. So for this glitch to work, also you need to make sure your main character on the left side, otherwise this will not work. But anyways, yeah, once you, once you load in, you should see your main character on the left, then the second character on the right. So you want to go to the second character and press X or A to start editing it. So now you want to go ahead and wait until that loads. So you should see this character walk just over to here. So now you want to see, um, you want to accept that alert. So if you see that, just accept it. So I did there. So now once you're on this menu, if your character is a male, just like mine is, just go ahead and switch it to female. So just press once on the right, um, right on the D-pad. So it should switch to female. Then just press save and continue. Then just accept. And now you just want to go ahead and wait till you load into GTA Online. So see you guys once I've loaded in. So now once you guys load into the lobby, just bring up your pause menu real quick and just check if you have any closed doors on the map. So as you guys can see, I don't have any closed doors. So if you don't have any just like me, just go um, back out of the map once and then press run the D, um, not um, the D-pad, sorry. You want to press R1 once, then go down to find new session and then you just want to go ahead and wait to load into the new session. But if you already do have closed doors, then just make your way to any of them. But yeah, so if, you're, if it's just the same situation um, like for you or was for me, just go ahead and do what I did right there. So now as you guys can see, I've loaded into the second lobby. Now you guys should see, just like I have here, the closed door icons on the map. So now I do also recommend if, if you're in the public lobby, just enable passive mode, so no one can like come and kill you while you're trying to do the components. So anyways, just make your way over to a closed door, it can be any of them. So now as you guys see, I've made my way over to one. So now you want to go to the uh, accessory section real quick, go down to earrings, and you want to go ahead and equip number 40, which should be the B and W uh, deco or deco earrings. Just go ahead and equip them. So now once you equip them, just back out. Or just quickly go to gloves, sorry, before you back out. And then go to number 12, which should be the light wooden tactical gloves. So you just want to go ahead and equip them. So now once you equip them, just back out. Now you want to make your way to the hat section. So now once you're to the hat section, you want to go to caps forward. I accidentally went to canvas hats, but you just want to make your way over to caps forward. Then I think it's like number 12 or 13, I'm not too sure. Yes, yeah, number 12, the grey wooden cap, just go ahead and equip that. So now once you equip that, you want to make your way to the pants section. Then you want to go to sports pants and equip the sport muscle pants, which should be number one. And also if you guys are wondering why I'm using this hat component, because I never really use hat components. This is for like the modded um, plain white cap. Now anyways, oh, um, you want to go to the top section. Now you want to go down to sports jackets. Now once you're at sports jackets, you want to go to number 99, I'm pretty sure it is. So yeah, number 99, the sea green puffer jacket, just go ahead and equip that. Now you want to back out of the sports jackets menu and then go down to the busters. Now you want to go to number 13, I'm pretty sure it is. So number 13, the Till Lace Buster, just go ahead and equip that. So now once you equip that, you just want to back out the top section and now make your way over to the shoes. So if you guys are at the same uh, store as me, just make your way over to this other side. So now once you're at the shoes, you want to go to high heel boots. Now you want to go down to number 24. So now once you're at number 24, you should be the Deluxe Midnight Combat, you just want to go ahead and equip them. Now once you equip them, you are actually done with the component, so this is only a one component modern outfit. So if this is just the component you need, then you're done and you can do the transfer glitch. So this is what the component should look like, it should have all these um, equipped as I do. Now for the first step of the transfer glitch, you want to bring up your interaction menu. Then you want to go down to take the easy way out and just select that option. So what this will do, this will just save the component we just made, so it will, do, it will like force the game save. Because if you don't do this, it won't save the component, so it won't be able to transfer over. So now you just want to wait till you load back in. So now once you load it back in, just bring up your pause menu, then go over to online, then you want to go ahead and start creator. So you just want to go ahead and start that up, just like I do here. Now just go ahead and wait till you load it into the creator menu. So now once you load in, you want to go down to create a race, then you want to go down to land race. Now just go ahead and wait for it to load. 
Now when it loads, you want to go over to race details. So now for the title and description, you can just place a bunch of random letters, just like I do here. And now once you've done that, you can set the photo to just a random photo of the sky. Now for maximum players, you want to make sure that is set to 2 and the root type is on point to point. If you don't have them too correct, then this glitch will not work. So now for the default class, I recommend just changing that to super and just choosing any car you want, just like speed up the process. Now for the trigger location, just hover over the trigger location um, option, then bring up your pause menu and just walk over to the airport, just like I do here. So now once you've walked over to the airport, all you want to do is just place this trigger just like roughly where I do. Now just take a random lobby camera. But now what you want to do for the checkpoints is, I recommend 0 0.75 miles, but if you don't want to do that, um, if you have a number that you want to use, just go ahead and use that. But if you guys don't have like a specific number you use, I recommend 0 0.75 because that just works for me every time. So if you want, you can just go ahead and copy that. So anyways, once you've done the checkpoints, just go ahead and test the race. So I'll just speed this up here, it takes about 25 to 30 seconds. So just go ahead and wait until the race finishes testing. So now once it's done, you'll get this pop up on your screen. Just go ahead and press OK. Now bring up your pause menu. Then you want to go to online. Then you want to go down to choose character and then just select that. Now just go ahead and wait until you've loaded into the select character menu. So it'll just take a couple of seconds. So now you should see your male character and the female character walk out. So you should see them, uh, the female character as the component outfit. So now you want to go to the female character and press square or X to delete the female character. So it'll make you type in delete here. Now as you guys see it says deleting character from GTA Online. So now you will see uh, a random second character and your main character walk back out. So now once you see this you want to press B or circle to back out to story mode. You want to make sure you don't select your male character because otherwise it will mess up the glitch. And you'll have to go ahead and do it again. So make sure you press circle or B to back out to story mode. So anyway, see you guys once to load it into um, story mode. So now once you guys are loaded back into story mode, you should want to bring up your pause menu. Then once you grab your pause menu, go over to online. Then go down to play GTA online and then just select the invite only session. Or if you want, you can just go into a public lobby. It's completely up to you. I just recommend the invite only session because it's just quicker. And just so like no one can interrupt you when you're like trying to do anything with the um, outfit. So you should want to wait until you load back into GTA online. So now as you guys can see, I've loaded back in. So you just want to go ahead and wait till you can see your character move around. So it should just take a couple of seconds. So as you guys can see, I've loaded back in. So I just have to wait for the shower, um, shower animation to finish. So now you, could, you, should, yeah, you guys should spawn in your outfit you already had. So that I spawned in my outfit. So now you just want to make it over to your wardrobe or make it over to a clothes store. It completely doesn't matter. So as you guys see, I have the component there. So you want to go to saved outfits and go to number 20 and just save it in that slot. Just so it doesn't get in the way of the component when you're trying to merge it. So anyways, once you've um, saved the main outfit you have, go to standard outfits and equip the sunbather. Then just take off any accessories it has on. Now you want to go to pants. Then you want to go to cargo pants and make sure you have equipped the light grey um, large cargos. So this is just like the white joggers. Now once you equip that, go to tops. Now once you're at tops, you want to go down to sports tops. That's like I do here. Now you want to keep scrolling. I'm pretty sure it's near the end. For me it's like number like 27 or like 30 or something, I can't even remember. So for me it's number 27, so it is called the Tricks the Baseball Shirt. So just go ahead and equip that. So now once you equip that, you guys might see I'm at the store now because I, to, I didn't have this item already. You want to go to the boot section, then you want to go to number 13, or not number 13, sorry number 14, which is the blue tactical boots. So you want to make sure you just go ahead and equip them. And you also want to make sure that you, you go to the accessory section. Then you want to go to the scarves and equip number 1 or number 2, it should be the black desert scarf. Now once you equip that, you want to bring up your pause menu, go to online, go to jobs, go down to play jobs, then rockstar create, then go down to verses, now select the job crooked cop. So now once you select that, you want to go ahead and wait to load it into the mission. So now once you load it into the mission, you want to go down to the clothing section, then select player own, then just confirm settings. Now you want to go ahead and wait for someone to join the mission, so as you guys see in the bottom right, it's launching session. So once someone's joined, just go ahead and start it up, now wait till you load in. So as you guys can see, I'm loading in now. So as you guys can see, I've loaded in. So now you want to go down to owned outfits, you want to press Rhino D-pad once, and just go ahead and ready up. So now if um, you want to go ahead and wait till everyone in your lobby is ready up. So in mine did have like 3 or 4 people, so I just had to wait for all of, um, all of them to ready up. So it might take a couple of seconds if you're in like quite a big lobby. So you just want to go ahead and wait till you load in. So now once you guys load in, just like I have here, you want to wait till you can move around, so it just takes another couple of seconds. 
because it's animation. Now you want to bring up your interaction menu, you want to go down to style, you want to go to accessories and press left on the d-pad to equip the LCD earpiece. Now just bring up your phone, go to job list and just quit the job using your phone. So now once you've quit the job, you just want to go ahead and wait to load into the um, uh, GTA lobby again. So as you guys can see, I've loaded back into GTA Online. So you should spawn behind this ammunition store just like I did here. So if you did, just make your way um, to the front of it, so just run around this corner here. Now once you're at the front, you want to go ahead and take off the earpiece. So go to style accessories and just press right and the pad once. Now you want to go over to the uh, outfit section. Then just go ahead and save the outfit. I recommend above the uh, slot 20 outfit. Then go ahead and delete the component. So now once you delete the component, you want to make your way down the road, which should be the suburban uh, clothing store. So now once you've made it down the road to this store, you want to go to the back right corner, which should be the accessory section. Now you want to go down to gloves. Then you want to go to number 53 I believe So yeah 53 you want to equip the white cotton gloves Then you can just go ahead and save this outfit So now once you save this outfit you want to make your way over to the mask store Which is which is at um, Vespucci Beach So as you guys see I'm at the mask store So just make your way over to it Now you want to go to, over to the mask section so Now once you're at uh, the mask section you want to go down to Diamond Casino Heist Then you want to go to number like 52 I'm pretty sure it is Or it's like number 47 It's, it's around number 50 so I'm gonna keep scrolling until you're around like near number 50. I can't remember which one it is. I'm pretty sure it's in the 40s, it's in the 40s. So number 45, the white leather half face. Just go ahead and equip that. So now once you equip that, you wanna make your way over to the pier, or, or just like next to the pier. You just wanna make sure way, uh, you wanna make sure you're next to a telescope, just like I am here. Now once you're at one of the telescopes, you just wanna go ahead and run past it, spam right in the D-pad. I suddenly messed it up there. So you just wanna run past, spam right. Now it should glitch out, now just bring up the interaction menu, go to style, and just equip the outfit, then walk away and you should see the mask merge on. So now once you've done that, you can just make your way over back to the ammunition store. So I'm just going to make my way back over there now, and then you can just go ahead and save the outfit again. So I just made my way back, and I can go ahead and just save the outfit. So you can just go ahead and overwrite the same outfit you just made. Now anyways, I hope you guys did go and enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to let me know in the comments and by leaving a like. I'm also subscribed to you if you're new because I'm currently right to 3k and you guys have just been showing some magical recently. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. It's been your boy Perks and peace.